J-Rock living, man. It's been a while. It's been actually a little bit. But I'm going to try and stay consistent on my videos. I've been going back and forth from Tanzania and Zanzibar for like a year and a half. Well, a little over a year now. You know, I got businesses here I need to take care of. Then I go back over there. But I'm going to update y'all on everything. Right now, I'm headed back over to Tanzania with my partner, Ali. We got so much to update y'all on. We got a lot of projects we're working on. Just been super busy lately. It's like super busy. But y'all will see why. Y'all going to stay tuned. But first stop, we headed to Dar. So, man, this happens when you travel. Try getting this light. So, look. Anyway, you see the airport is right there. And attached to this is a hotel, the Hilton. I'm not in Tanzania. Not in Zanzibar. I'm in Boston right now. Because my plane got delayed. <laughs> but... My plane got delayed um, while in Atlanta. So what happened was I was taking a, my, my flight itinerary goes Atlanta to Boston, Boston to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Tanzania or Zanzibar. But I got to go to Tanzania first. Um, but usually it's just two trips. This time it didn't happen that way. So happens with travel. Hopefully next time we'll be in Zanzibar. Well, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam to be exact. As you can see, I done finally made it to Dar. It was a long flight. I still got this eye injury too. Man, the traveling was rough, but we done made it. My partner Ali, he's here right now. I think we gotta, man, stay tonight. I think I gotta go to, we gotta see a 60 acre land and a 20 acre land that we have um, in the mainland of Tanzania. So we're just here for a day, then we're gonna take a ferry to Zanzibar. So, like I said, finally made it, settled in, got some food last night, ate good, we're gonna see some land. Land is the most valuable thing. Actually, it's our land, okay? We have 60 acres available and then 20 acres available. Um, we're gonna talk more details about that later, but we're gonna tap in with everybody, give y'all all the information if y'all wanna purchase. We're making it affordable, we're building a community up, we're building the country up. Partner, we partnered together, man. We coming together. We doing great things out here, man. So, uh, as everything's going good, you see, I got the Morpheus shades on again because I'm outside the Matrix. I am Morpheus. Okay, that that that's who I am. J Rock, living, aka Morpheus. Where we're standing right now is this plot here. Right. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's where we are. So starting from that corner, I show you that corner over there. Yep. It's the corner over here. Then. All the way, oh. all, the, all the way this way, all the way this way, all over. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah that's country. what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then we got a good breeze out here yeah. too. This is amazing, though. This I like. This. Total uh, uh, about 86 plots. 86? Yeah. All of them? Oh wow! This is 20 20 acres. 20 acres. 20 acres. 20 acres. Okay. Yep. Mr. Fareed, <laughs> good, good, good man right there, good man. Y'all know Ali, the calm, the calm one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The calm one, there you go. Yeah. So, like you said, from going there, all the way this way. All the way this way. All the way this way. And this, this is all available for, for anybody across the world that, that wants to come here and, um, have a place here to stay and live and we also got a lot of house plants working on now this is just this is one of them it's the 20 acres and you can see there's wind people worry about the heat and everything like that but this is actually not far from the beach which we're gonna um drive to see how far exactly you know it takes us to get to the beach from here but it has a good breeze and we're gonna do stuff environmental friendly i think um ollie explained ollie told me earlier we was gonna do everything environmental friendly Know, uh, plant a lot of trees people want to grow food out here you know um, be self-sustainable is one of the, one of the keys a lot of people want to get away from the Western society I think this is a great place to have it if you're not here you can also rent that rent your homes out as well also a house will be for rent so man it's, it's all affordable for locals 
for people that's not that doesn't live here in Tanzania that want to come here have a place here to stay I think this is great I mean everything's beautiful out here land is the most valuable thing like I'm gonna keep saying that people have wars over land <laughs> so uh, you need to have land you gotta need your own spot you need things like that I'm gonna drop the um, I'm gonna drop the platinum Zanzibar email in the description below so therefore when you when you guys want to contact and if you're interested just contact us below it's very affordable by the way very affordable we made that affordable we're coming together like a lot of people a lot of people foreigners come out here and do business on their own we're combining you know it together i combine with no saying with the locals we're good people good friends and we're doing this all together okay so man like i already have a spot here so <laughs> so yeah y'all come join me can you the spots are filling up fast, so make sure you do contact uh, the email, the Platinum, Platinum Zanzibar. Okay. So check this out, man. So we just took a couple steps on, on the plot. And I, we dug a well in Zanzibar, and it took us, man, I want to say it took us about, like, how long did it take for that well? About two months. About two months, like for the 18, 18 meters. 18 meters deep for the well. And Ollie was explaining to me that this was like an ocean at one point. Well, the water was here. It was a peninsula. This is a peninsula. So, but it doesn't take that deep to get fresh water. Look how, look how, look at this. Fresh water right there. It's not even that deep. Look. That's crazy. That's good though. I like it. See, it's like. Proper yeah, proper yeah. Sand. Not getting anything for the bill. You see, it's already dug out right there. Fresh water right in the ground. And the reason why I did this because those watermelon. This is see. This watermelon was growing here. Oh, that's the watermelon. It was yeah. growing here. Yeah, it was growing. Oh, all this right here, they was harvesting so watermelons. Okay. Harvesting, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is good, man. This is good. Yeah. We got house designs going up too right now. We're gonna release those oh, yeah. in a bit, in a bit. We just finalized a lot of plans. The houses look so nice um, that the team's been working on, Ollie and the team. And man, like, <laughs> wait till wait till y'all see the prices of them too. So just just stay tuned, man. But definitely tap in as soon as y'all can because, as y'all can see, yeah. yeah, this is amazing. Right here, these are actually cashew trees. You know, I think it's important that we do grow our own food and things like that. Um, that's why I, even when I saw this land, I I couldn't even miss out on the opportunity. I purchased some land here too. Um, like you know, I think it's a good idea to have multiple, you know, <laughs> multiple lands in different places. Zanzibar, mainland, things like that. This is really nice, like, cause for me. I'm thinking about it as once I build my home, like it's so much space, so much freedom. Like I don't have to go through so many leaps and bounds. Like back home in the U.S., um, I was trying to purchase land. Well, me and Abby were trying to purchase land in Georgia in the Atlanta area. There's so many permits, like so many rules, so many permits, so many things have to do. Like it'd be six, eight months till you could like do something that you want to do. Which here, of course, you gotta have permits and stuff as well. But it's not as strenuous getting keep trying to build and trying to do what you want to do you know it's pretty simple it's, it's pretty easy you know that's what I couldn't miss up on that I could just I can't wait to have my dirt bikes and four-wheelers out here and just you know hit the road right like you know just hit the wide open you know it's just so much freedom just to do do as you please you know and live live peacefully now, I think there's a lot of us look for that peace you know and if you had a just thinking about like you know because I travel back and forth from the state so to go back home and come back back out here it, it's, it's having the best of both worlds at my fingertips. So I think for me, that's my thing. <laughs> All right, so down the road from the 20 acres, this right here is a new area, same area, but just down the street is 60 acres right here. The full 60 acres, um, same thing. Lots will be going up for sale. I got something here as well. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. It's just open air. There's, there's a plenty of farming space out here. There's plenty of space to, to you know, envision anything you want to do and, and just do it here. 
you know um like i said it's the freedom of building something that you always wanted to do okay i think these are for people who want to live environmental friendly and you have and a lot of people ask like questions okay like wi-fi things like that i mean i got full service out here you get why you get yes you get wi-fi you have flat screens netflix whatever you want like you, you get it here okay like there's no no difference but i know that's a lot of people's questions and things like that that people ask me and sometimes i got i just gotta realize okay they they just with the media portray africa as i gotta realize that you know that's what they see but it's not necessarily the case especially here in uh tanzania um but it is amazing though um, i think that uh once people see see here and you walk the land and you feel it out, you're able to really connect with it and feel like, okay, I know what I want to do here. So, but this is all of it, like, this is not all of it. Of course, we can't get 60 acres, but think of it as approximately like 60 professional football fields. Think about it like that, envision that, and this is what you got right here. And um, then the thing, our concept here, and even the other land that we have as well, is the fact like everything works for everybody. So as far as like, you know, people have had questions about payment and things like that, there's different phases. It's not like, okay, I'm gonna pay all this all at once. No, there's different phases. You pay what you can and then we move on. So even after you finish purchasing the land or if you go buy it all, fly it out, whatever it is that you can do, then there's phases even with building your home or building your villa, or whatever it is, it is that you wanna do. We work with everybody. You know, our company is made for that. It's made to work with all types of people and all types of people's budgets and things like that. So never think like, oh, you're not able to do it. It's just send us an email and we'll work with you. The company is very, our company is very secure. We're all about helping the people, to helping the community. As you can see, we're not only doing these projects, we got projects for kids and things like that. Like I said, just send an email, ask questions. We will answer everything fully, uh, as well as we'll make more videos to go more in depth of how like own the owning process goes as well. And a lot of people ask how big is this land? I know 60 acres is hard to like imagine for a lot of people, but like I said, I said imagine like the soccer the football fields or soccer fields or whatever. But if you look, if you go go way past these trees back here. There's like there's also like little spikes coming out the ground, and there's like a green roof. So that's where that border is. And then it comes all the way around over here. We're going to our right. There's like a red roof way back past the trees. And then after that, we're still coming around here. There's like a, a house right there. That's I, don't, I think that's a little house past those trees back there. And then that's our border. It ends right there. And then it comes back around, coming around here. And then there's like a little foundation being built. Um, and that's where the, the border comes around. And then like I said before, like then we come around the back all the way right here and borders around like in front of these little houses and stuff like that. So um pretty big, pretty big, a lot of opportunity, a lot of space. And we're also gonna go also gonna have like ponds of like fish. Because as you said, we can dig two meters deep, but we're gonna have ponds of fish. So like we're trying to do everything um like like I said, self-sustainable. So like we really, we really pushing like the limits trying to make things like different and we're trying to push this lifestyle more so that's what it's